say anything. If you are the only true human being on planet Earth, can there be, can another, there be another human being? Yeah, according so to your logic. This is, this is back to the natural and the supernatural. Oh yeah, so in so supernatural, got, so again, I've again, got you. Again, no, no, I've again. got you, I've got you. No, no, you in don't, the no, 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 you don't. I do. This goes back to the beginning. I've got it, I've got it. This is, this is goes no, back No, I'm excited this, to tell you, no, I've got no, it. This is, no, no, in the supernatural, you're getting, logic. Excited, you're getting excited, I don't understand why. Okay, I'll tell you when you finish. Hold on, hold on. I'll tell you when you finish. So again, this goes back to, to the beginning when I explained to you that I have to somehow prove to you that a donkey talked. So obviously that's not reasonable, but I believe that it's the truth, that it happened. So therefore... Miracle. Logic, so in that form, logic yeah. is not something that would, that okay. would but, serve me. But do you know why this is different? It's not if, different. If, if I make a statement, I am not God, and you say, you know what, of course you are God. Do you see what you're doing? A clear statement, you are denying, rejecting, interpreting away. If I told you, if I told you, I am not God, and then you make all your efforts to say, I don't know, he's God, he's just saying he's humble. If I tell you, no, I'm not being humble, I'm not showing any humility, I am not God, full stop. I am a servant of God. And you still say, oh no, no, yeah, 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 he's God. Do you see, that's not a miracle like a donkey talking. So we're back. We're, yeah, I mean, it's not a donkey talking miracle. If Christ said, so look. You selected that, you selected what you just said to totally ignore what I brought in with John 1. I just so, told you, John okay, 1, it, so, okay. So his okay, let me give you my, interpre my interpretation of John 1. In the beginning, in the, my, my interpretation, right? You believe, Muhammad believed in the Bible. Thank you, my friend. But, 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 are you Muslim, so you should believe in the Bible. Is that the part that you want to accept the Bible or not? I mean, do you believe I, the, do you believe the Bible it, is corrupted? I find it Hold strange. On, do you believe the Bible is corrupted? Um, one second. I find it strange that you remove, you know, you, you recount to an individual who is known to be speaking to himself in the park no, by himself. You know, as no, a support. what happened is, what happened yeah. is, I'll explain to you what happened. But before, before I made the mistake of assuming and I forgot that what what I hold to myself I can hold to you because we believe in different sure. things so you're quoting scripture from my Bible but that's why I ask you is that part of the Bible that you believe is corrupted or is that part of the Bible that you accept okay. I will answer both of the questions how can you interpret something which you don't believe and is the Bible corrupted first question so you're saying the interpretation of the text is only the right of those who believe in it. Is that what you're saying? That means you can never interpret what the Quran says. No, no. Whatever you bring about the Quran in any translation, I will just simply say, you can't interpret it. I just asked you a question. No, so, so you know not this statement that he made is actually a statement nonsensical. It is not something believable. It's not an academic statement. It's a statement simple making without even thinking. Yes, of course you can interpret. Every anyone interpret. But you need to know what is the best interpretation. What is the justifiable interpretation? Yeah? Second question. Do I believe the Bible is corrupt? I believe the scholars tells me the Bible is correct. And I will say Which this scholars? one second. And I, I know the scholars know more than I do. The scholars not only tell me that the Bible is corrupt, they demonstrate to me by proof and evidence the Bible is corrupt throughout the centuries. They show me how manuscripts have been corrupted. Let me give you an example. But which scholars? Which scholars? Is this, uh, many scholars. Islamic scholars? Or? Does it matter if they're scholars? It does. Really? I so now, hold on, hang so on, hang can on. you answer the question? Yeah, I will. So now you're saying it does matter whether you go to a Christian no. doctor or a Muslim doctor. How many if times, how many times one, one, a day do you pray? Excuse me, excuse me. If you there's, go to, a, there's a reason, there's a reason. One I'm, moment. Not, I'm not trying to trap you. Yeah. I'm not here for games. There's a reason why I see that. Because it's called, no. the Quran says how many times are you supposed to pray? Five. Five or three? What have you been reading? So again, again. Yeah, who's been, what information sources okay. do you have at disposal? So is it three or five? Five. I'm asking you because I don't know. Anyone. Five. 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 You ask five. Time okay. until you yeah. Five. So I've heard. Shall I? I've, shall I've, 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 I was. Yeah. Because I've always heard five. Yeah. But I've and, only read three. And at the approaches of night, or I, I don't know the. the just, full just verse, one second. But, just one second. This is so called. I've heard three. No. This is called so the. When I count those instances. Can you I forgive me? Three. Can you forgive me for something? Integrity test. Have you read the Quran from cover to cover to find the five prayers? Can I, you want me to answer that? 
in your own way. Okay. So I read the Quran until I found it unreconcilable. No. About the five or three prayers, this I just said I I, I do apologize and forgive me. It's an integrity test. Okay, I've not done this before, but I'm doing this to, just to show you that sometimes we need to wake up. Oh, I thought you, you were could not to see if I was being. No, 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 no. On this issue, on this issue, waking up means what? Really intellectually clicking, ticking, right? I have found three prayers. That's what you said. Good. Did you read the Quran from beginning to end and you did not find the five verses, five prayers? Uh, no. So I, I, I haven't read through the whole Quran. So, right. So, no. so that means so far you have found three. That's all you can say. So far you found three, but I, until I finish reading it, um, I cannot say there are not five. I remember here a loud mouth, mouth individuals to shout a lot for decades on this issue, corrected him so many times, he still talks about it. And the missionaries, no, Christian friends, no problem. No take, problem. talk about it. But I, I don't have no, a problem with that. Yeah, yeah. The reason why I'm saying it yeah. is because when we talk about scholars yeah. and differences in texts and yeah. whatnot, so, we're introducing a lot of yeah. different So let's opinions. come back to this point then. Yes, if you read Surah 20, verse 130, you will find more than three there in, in, the, in this year, uh, if not five altogether, right? Surah number 20, verse 130. You can just read it if someone else just can bring it up and read it. What I'm saying, scholars go, you're saying, hang on, this is a Muslim doctor. I'm not going to go to a Muslim doctor. I can't trust it. You don't do that in your everyday life, or do you? Then seriously, you need to have a really good, you know, you know, check up of, 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 of the integrity of the, of the reason of, of, of the intellect and so on and so forth. Because if someone's qualified, we don't say his religion is going to somehow yeah, stop him. Right. right. Likewise, a scholar, a scholar who's qualified, he's a scholar. You're saying, oh, if he's a Muslim scholar, they're all biased. They're all someone going to... Yeah, but gonna, what if you contradict the Quran one moment, one moment, one moment. Right? Sorry, one moment. What then, you just, then, then you what you're to alluding to is something very grievous. You are saying Muslim scholars, they're all going to be not truthful. They will be dishonest. They will be, that's what it implies. The moment you brought in... I asked because it's important to understand the source. If okay, Moses was yeah, yeah, yeah. right. I'm saying scholar. I'm a scholar. A scholar. If, if someone is a reputable academic BP scholar, yeah, scholar. Okay, fine. How about leaving those Muslim scholars who are questionable? The point is, questionable. You can be a Muslim scholar. You can be a Christian scholar. So let's make it simple. I know, but as you can see, as I've explained to you, this is a serious thing to reconsider, right? Don't bring in scholarship into dispute because they are they're they're very Vegetarian, for example. Yeah. Oh, he's a vegetarian. Oh, come on. So, so, so you have non-Muslim scholars, Christian scholars. They demonstrate to us how the Bible has been corrupted in the manuscripts over the centuries. One particular example is the subject that we're talking about. In the Middle Ages, they got fed up. They can't find a verse to prove that the three persons are one God. They made one up. And they inserted this in 1 John 5, verse number 7. If you open up a good translation now, like NIV, SV, whatever, right? Let's ask it. They will tell you in the, excuse me, in the footnotes. I know I'm for 20 years. This verse does not exist in any Greek manuscripts prior to the 15th century. So it was late introduced after. In the Middle Ages, they inserted these verses in the Greek manuscripts. In the Middle Ages. So this fabrication. This, you know, forging of God's words by man's word was forged in the Middle Ages. In the Middle Ages. This is how they corrupted the Bible. And this still exists in the King James Version. So people who were reading King James Version in, the, in, in England, for example, and still do, they think somehow up there there are three, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and they they no, the, the record the to be Spirit, true, brother. and they are one. And the scholars will tell you, that that's not true. This was never a verse inspired by God. It's actually a forgery. Oh, no, 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 that means no, no, no. it's a satanic world. So, so what we're saying is, he says that Jesus is the world. So now, oh, what we've identified, oh, no, no, no. what we've identified, oh, no, no. is a satanic oh, no, no. verse in the Bible. Oh, no. It's a satanic verse. No. Did it come from God or from Satan? No. 
Okay. This verse, 1 John 5, 7, he come from God or from Satan? I haven't, I haven't, the verse you're talking about, yeah, I'm not into, like I said, okay. I'm not into playing games. So I'm saying, you, you, it's just another thing in the Bible. That I can go back, research. It can do, but I'm saying, as I made this claim now, it's a satanic verse in the Bible, 1 John 5, 7. See like this in King James, KJV. So let's go back again. There are many examples where textual corruptions happen in the manuscripts. If you read Codex Sinaiticus and Vaticanus on the margin, there's an important remark made by a scribe. You fools, leave the text. I mean, I'm paraphrasing now, as it is. I can show you the original okay, Greek, go ahead, go ahead. yeah? No, no, because that's ahead, what the scribes are doing. Uh, so they were no, no, changing no. the text because of theological reasons, doctrinal reasons. So then God's word was corrupted then? No, yeah, God's, according to the New Testament textual now transmission, there were now corruptions occurring throughout now you have the a text. Problem. I don't have a problem. Because the, God's word can't be corrupted. Who said? Your Quran. No, my Quran doesn't say God was corrupted. No, I said it cannot be corrupted. No, no, right? yeah, my, Quran. my Quran doesn't say that. Quran talks about La mubaddila li kalimatillah, for example. Mm -hmm. No I one can find. Arabic, man. You gotta speak English. I'm just trying to. I'm just. <laughs> sorry, sorry, it was, sorry, it was sorry. less than a. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm it was sorry. less than a second I was translating. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah? yeah, they will not find. You will not find any alteration in the words of God. Okay. If you look at the context, it refers to the promise of God. Yeah. Now, think about it, my friend. You are an intelligent person. If I am a publisher, I can publish a Bible with a Harry Potter within it. And tell you, you that because then there's people like me who I, no, 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 I, know no. I study the Bible and I know the difference. Listen, listen. Am I able to print? Yes. Yeah. Are you able to find out that it's not the true Bible? Yes. But when I am able to print and I mislead some gullible Christians, I'm able to do that, and they will think it's from God, like they did with the King James version. In heaven there are the three, and they still do that. So. You can bring something and it says from God and you can corrupt the scripture. That's how corruption can happen. So where, which Bible doesn't have John 1? You are now saying specific corruption. I'm saying... No, no, no. I'm not saying specific corruption. But what no. I'm saying is that the main topics of, of the Bible, right? For example, we well, talked about it all night. Jesus' divinity, Jesus' humanity, right? Though that's one of the core aspects of Christianity. So if, if that's within the Bible, if something says and over here or the, I mean that's... It's not under the. Did Christ ever tell his people, I am the God of Israel, I'm a jealous God, you should worship none but me? Now we're into the worship me. Sorry, sorry. He said it, right? He should be. He should say that. That's what you expect. If you believe he's God, come down on earth, tell people, to, to inform people, to clarify to people that he's God, he's the only savior, he should, he should, sure he and to, he, he must came, have, he right? To save, he must right? so have, he, he must before, have before told he, people. Before you, you can be a master, you must be a servant. No, That's he must have clarified, look, he must have clarified that he's the God of Israel on earth, and they should worship none but him. And I can find those verses that's, in the Bible, that's, right? That's your, yeah. yeah. That's your requirement. Where, where, where that's can your I, requirement. Not my requirement. That's your personal requirement. No, no. But that's okay. Isn't this what you expect? Listen, we've had a great chat. No, no, please, please. I've been here all day. I've been, sure, sure. Been here all day. It's not so, my requirement. Isn't that what you expect? Why are you running away? Why are you running away? When God in the Old Testament no tells people, no does he somehow no leaves it so Quran. ambiguous no that people don't know whether he's God and worthy so of worship? Or, or to be worshipped? Or does he say, I am God and you shall have no other God besides me. Says, no one no one goes to the Father but by me. What does that say to you? And who is God according well, to him? So, who's, so, so we've talked about your topic for a little no, while. No. Let me ask you a question. Can I answer that or, point? Or, no one goes to the Father but by me. Yeah, yeah hold on. I just, made a, I just made that statement. But that yeah. statement is true. <laughs> Nobody goes to the Father but by yeah. okay. how, how do you? What is salvation in Islam? How do, okay. you, how do you reconcile going okay. to paradise? Sure. You have to worship God alone, okay. without ascribing any partners. Okay. You should not worship the prophets and the messengers. You should not worship the books of God, like Torah and the Injil. They're the words of God. Okay. You worship the word of God. Christ is the word of God. Okay. So instead of worshiping the word of God, like the Torah or the Quran, worship God only. Don't worship God's knowledge. Don't worship God's forgiveness. Don't worship God's love. Don't worship God's word. So, if you worship God alone without ascribing a partner to God, this is the 
only way to have salvation. Success and salvation is only by worshiping God alone, without ascribing any part. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Now, so when, it, or when, is it, or is when, it by the will of God. God promised His servants that if you believe and do righteous deeds, if you believe in me, like I am God and none worthy of worship, then you will have paradise. You will have heaven. This is a promise from God. So it's not just what I believe, what I think, what my opinion. This is God's promise and God says He does not fail or break His promise. So, th so these are all things that you have to do. And then after that's all said and done, it's, it's to the will of Allah. Isn't that correct? No, 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 to determine if you go to heaven or not. God says, if you submit and surrender his, your will to His will, and you worship God alone without a partner. So His okay. will is I, I to to put you into paradise. That is His already a promise. Let me uh, so, so let me rephrase. So I do all these things. Yeah. And judgment day comes. Am I now going to heaven, or do is it now up to the will of the Father? Or? On judgment day, you will see from this judgment so my whether whether there's whether separa there's separation <laughs> that you must do all these things, I see and one. then how, after that's all said and done, done is it then, then it's up to the will of Allah to determine is if you're going to the Jannah. Then the will of Allah is already explained to us what His will is: that whoever ascribes a partner with me, his uh, own automatic on, 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 heaven on, on, paradise. On, 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 See, I'm asking whoever you. ascribes a partner to me, his only destination will be hellfire and there's no way out of it. That's his will. But whoever worships him alone without ascribing any partners, God promised them priority. So in the hereafter, you will be in the day of judgment. You will see it for yourself whether you believed and did the works of God, what God asked you to do. So when a prophet came, the prophet came to tell them, I am the only way to God. Moses, the prophet, peace be upon him, when he came to his people, he was the only way to God to have salvation. There's no other way. That's you can't. What, that's what Jesus said in the Bible. Wait, wait, wait. That's what I'm saying. So how, Jesus how, can, how, can, how, can, how can Muhammad say that? That's what Jesus said. Listen, I will explain. During the time of Moses, there was no other way. You Kiddish. Oh, you take it. Okay. A person who believed in the Noah right. laws, you know that laws of a, Noah, they cannot have salvation unless they follow the what Moses brought upon him. When Christ came, the son of Mary, the slave of God, and he said, "You have to follow me. You have to believe in me that I am the messenger sent one. Yep, a servant of God." And this is the way you should live your life. If you follow him and follow the rules of God, he was the only way to God then. There's no other way during his time. So the Jewish people who were there then, who did not accept him as the messenger of God, they will not have salvation because he was their prophet to them to follow. Likewise, when Prophet Muhammad Wasallam came, he is the only way to God and no other way. So a Christian and a Jew who has heard of Prophet Muhammad Wasallam and did not go through Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, they would not have any salvation. I'm so sorry. So where in, the Bible, where in the Bible, I accept your answer. I disagree, but I accept your answer. No problem. So where in the Bible is Muhammad prophesied? Where in the Bible? Which Bible? Prophesied. Which Bible? There's so many. The Bible. No, there's so many. Which the, one? The Word of God. Where, where's, where's... Should I talk to you about the book called the Second Treatise of Sheth? No, no, no. So I, I asked you to No, no. A, that a is a scripture. Question. No, that is a scripture of the Christians. So, again, okay, okay. Where, where, where in the Bible does it, okay. does it prophesy about sure, sure, sure. the coming of Muhammad the reason and, that why I'm asking, and that he would be the... The final. reason why I'm asking is, should I tell you from the Gospel of Mary or Gospel of Peter? Or none of them are in your Bible? Gospel? Which Gospel shall I tell you from? The Gospel of Judas? The Gospel of St. Thomas? Do you see what I'm asking for? The Injil. I'm asking, what about the Injil? Okay, where is the Injil? Then I'll tell you. Tell you. Gospel. Which one? Which New one? Testament. Which, which gospel? One moment. The New Testament. How many Gospels do we know of?